What's up everyone? We're back with another versus game. Let's begin. I'm really excited to play today. The gang finally someone with lower reload than me. First time it's ever happened, I believe. And we get a horrible start. Okay, I, I don't think I want either of those, even though they kind of synergize as well with one another, so... Maybe roll? But like rolling makes me forced to, to take the next three pets, so maybe I do take these three. It's a start that I've never done before. So maybe I take them. So like the synergy is that because this is going to gain a perk, these two are going to gain some attack, so they are going to be three twos. So it's basically like having two beavers and a cricket. Oh no, starting off with a misplay. And making my opponent wait for the entirety of the... However long that was. I think it was 25 seconds. Okay, we take a ladybug. I kind of want another beetle. I don't think I really want a fourth ladybug though, so I'll skip it. And we do get a beetle. Maybe even put an apple because I'm not really looking for anything. Or I could take another beetle if I find it. Yeah, I think that's actually wiser. And we do find it, thankfully. Because the level... Uh, the turn 3 hatching chick is actually so strong that I believe it is worth it for me to look for it at the cost of an apple. So let's hope that we find it. Oh, let's go! We take it instantly, I don't even need to take a look at the rest. Uh, I think we played like so, because this is going to have high attack. Each of these is going to trigger a honey, which is going to give this 4 attack. So this is going to have 12 plus 3, 15 attack on turn 3. And this hopefully does the cleanup. That's what I'm hoping for at least. Okay, so slight change of plans. This is going to receive 4 less attack now, but we do have a beluga sturgeon to clean up as well with the dolphin. I think this should be good enough to win, honestly. Let's see. Ah, uh, the elephant is kind of scary, but... The sturgeon paid off. Nice. If we keep going like this, and especially if we level into another hatching chick, I think this is going to be a breeze. Let's see. No hatching chick, but we get a tropical fish, which is kind of decent as well. I'll put it here. I've discussed in previous videos how I usually like to scale up the hatching chick because it's most likely going to stay on the team until the end of the game, but the way this is going, the game might end by turn 6, so I am not really sure how to proceed here. Maybe buff this so it doesn't die instantly to the mosquito, especially with the buff from the tropical fish. It's not going to die to the snipe plus the mosquito which is very nice and I don't think I need the level on the beetle neither of those interest me so keep rolling bat is kind of interesting honestly but I don't think I want it I, I'm going to push for tempo unless I can guarantee that the bat hits the elephant right here I don't think it's worth it for me to go for that and actually the level up into the meat bone was uh, surprisingly useful, I didn't consider that. I'll take a half level here, half level here. Maybe put a meat bone on the uh, tropical fish, once again pushing for tempo. I kind of want to put a garlic on this, but it's going to be replaced by a meat bone, so it's not really worth it. Yeah, I'm going to push for tempo with the salads. Hopefully next turn I'm going to buy two salads and uh, find another tropical fish and another beluga sturgeon. I think that way we're going to get some very nice level ups on t turn 5 or like uh, turn 7 sorry. Tier 5 that would be. We can take uh, a garlic here. You know what? I I'll do that because... Most likely we're going to win this round because of this garlic and uh, 
resulting in that will be the position of uh, 6 to 1, so that it's going to be very difficult for my opponent to stabilize. Yeah, he's taking so much tempo in the form of dolphins, but it's not going to help out. We win once again. And today's shaping up to be a pretty short video, we even get the double level up, extremely lucky. Uh, that though isn't very lucky. Let's level up once again. Poodle. Poodle Goat. Do I want to sell the hatching chick? I think I might want to sell the hatching chick for some scaling. Actually, no, I'm just going to push for the win. What am I talking about? This receives a pie, making it get above before it replaces its perk with a meat bone. The ladybug even gets some attack out of it. I'll freeze the double poodle just in case, but I believe that we're going to win this round. And another pie. So yeah, let's hope for the best. Hopefully they don't have a scorpion. They did level into a scorpion. How lucky is that for them, of course. Yeah, and that results in another win for me because I level up the beluga sturgeon. How lucky. Okay, this is going to be it for today. A pretty short video. I don't think we even climbed up a lot. Plus 11. We're almost at the starting kilo. And as always, let's check out the uh, rank list very quick. The ladder. XRP is still at the top, of course. Fengar, Kyogre. 1839, they're slowly climbing up to the 2000 margin, I would love to see that eventually. Sag is third in the custom ladder, okay, he's been grinding this. MCWG, who we defeated in the last episode, is seventh here. Still very proud of that win, even though it was mostly luck, but still. And the weekly ladder, which might not even load, okay. Kind of concerning. <laughs> if it doesn't load, I'll just end off the video right here. Yeah, uh, let's give it 5 seconds or so. Okay, it did load, yeah, thankfully. Uh, no one from here that I recognize. Oh no, here is Kyogre, but other than that, I don't think anyone else here is recognizable for me. But anyway, this is going to be it for today. Pretty short video, pretty quick win, which I'm very happy to see. If you did enjoy it, please like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.